Hello and welcome. Let's take a look at our top story this hour. China has reported over a thousand new COVID-19 infections on Friday, a new record number for the third consecutive day. As China's COVID cases rise, leader Xi Jinping's ruthless pursuit of zero COVID policy also gets stricter. Restrictions have sent schools online, closed many restaurants and forced employees to work from home. Some reports and social media posts indicate that China is building a quarantine center in the Guangzhou province. New images show a vast facility under construction in the city of Guangzhou. The city has been the hardest hit by the latest spike in cases. According to reports, the authorities are building COVID quarantine accommodation for 250,000. As of now, they have built 87,000 beds. China's COVID policy has meanwhile sparked sporadic protests across the country. The zero COVID policy push has caused fatigue and resentment among the population as they enter the third year of the pandemic. Local residents gathered at the Xiangxing region in China to protest and call for an end to the COVID restrictions. The protesters quarreled with the officials enforcing lockdown measures and chanted, lift the COVID lockdown. This comes days after China imposed lockdown in various regions following the rise of COVID-19 cases in the country. Media reports say the protest happened on the 25th of November, a day after a fire was reported in the same region of Xijiang. Now, the fire is the latest in the chain of zero COVID policy related tragedies that rattled residents. Ten people were killed and nine others injured in the incident. The residents alleged a delay in rescue due to the COVID restrictions. They added that the rescue teams could not attend the accident early due to the cars parked in the area. Some on social media accounts stated that the private cars couldn't be moved as their owners were being quarantined for months. This was the second major fire accident in the country this week, which has left a total of 48 dead. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.